Yo, we are the Queen Couple and we are in Osaka, Japan in the Dotonbori district. Da, da, da. It's quite busy here today. If you don't know, this area is pretty famous for street food. Yep. A little bit of shopping, uh, a lot of sightseeing. And lots of crowds. Oh yeah. <laughs> is this filmed on a Tuesday? This is a Tuesday. Yeah, after five. So yeah, we're going to have some fun, Yeah. have some food check out some things all around here and maybe some nearby areas as well so yeah. come join us let's go no matter how much local flavor gets sucked up into the area there's always going to be a starbucks yep a really big starbucks like a really big Starbucks. It's like part bookstore too. Yeah, that's kind of cool. You got yourself a book and a coffee. Yeah. I suppose. <laughs> got a famous crab place. Uh, I don't remember exactly what the name is. It's in Japanese. But it has crab in the name. Uh, it's supposed to be quite good. It's all crab. Yeah, they just like roast and grill it and stuff. Pop yep. it open, get that meat out. Delicious, right Brittany? Yeah. Sounds great, right? Well, I'll eat it at least, jeez. <laughs> hey, Brittany, I wonder what this place is such up to you, is, huh? Mm. Can't quite place my finger on it. Shrimp? Possibly. I don't know. I don't know. No, it's uh, dumplings. <laughs> yeah. Yoga dumplings, too, to be specific. They yeah. have a lot of different types, too. It smells pretty good in front of you. There's here. a cheese one. I didn't know that was a thing. <laughs> they have a song about takoyaki. <laughs> That's how you know Kakiyaki is a big deal in Osaka. They even have a photo spot so you can actually watch them make it. That's fantastic. More Takoyaki places, yes. Lots and lots of Takoyaki. Yeah. It's kind of a big deal out here. It's kind of, well, it is the hometown of Takoyaki. Very popular. It's uh, a little before 6 p.m. We're filming this. Everyone's here. Everyone wants some Takoyaki. Oh, yeah. yeah I think okay. we had to have some later, too. Oh, boy. I think this is a fugu place. Yeah. Blowfish, puffin fish, whatever you want to call it. It's uh, the big, the big blowfish. Yeah. yeah. Apparently, this place is quite famous for that stuff. It is. Fairly reasonable at prices between 3,500 to 6,000 yen. So, oh boy. Uh, that's that's pretty pricey, guys. That's anywhere between 35 to 60 dollars US. But hey, it is a delicacy because you've got to be very careful when preparing it. Or you might hurt someone. Yes. Actually, you probably will hurt someone if you mess that up. Yes. Yeah. You don't will. get sloppy with that stuff. No. That's pretty cool. I don't think we'll be trying it. Uh, it's a little out of our price range. But hey, it's pretty cool that it's here. Yeah. There's a sushi shop, another fugu shop. There's a little, oh, here we go. Souvenirs and trinkets. Oh, cute. Look oh, at it. a giant oh, Let's go. Right now? Yeah. Lots and lots of delicious things. You excited, Brittany? Yeah. Take some home. Take some, uh, some nice, uh, takoyaki flavored Pringles. That's how I say like takoyaki. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, look, they have kushikatsu sauce flavor uh, kalbi chips. What? Oh, that would be really That's good. That's fun. Mmm. Hockey, hockey, everything. The Glico Man. See? He's famous. This is, this is the birthplace of hockey. Of course, Kit Kats. Many flavors of Kit Kat. Poppin'. Even a little baby dongo shop. Oh. I kind of want some now. A little baby dongo shop. We found our destination, at least for right now. We're at Kushikatsu Daruma. Right here. It's one of the famous places for Kushikatsu. If you don't know what kushikatsu is, it's uh, little deep fried skewers yeah. of like pretty much anything you can think of. Yeah, they have Ve different options. Vegetables, meats, all those things. Quite tasty. Yeah. Ah, the nice lady at the front, while we were waiting in line, grabbed us an English menu. So they, they you can either order a la carte or you can get a big combo right here. And yeah. Just a little bit of money. It's not a bad idea, these combos, actually. They got a good combination. They got beef, shrimp, asparagus, pale egg, rice cake, tonkatsu, pork cutlet. Uh, chicken meatball, it's uh, 
fish sausage with cheese and sausage. Huh. Honestly, that doesn't sound like too bad of a combo right there. Not too bad. No, I think I'd eat most of that stuff in there. What about you, Brittany? Um, I personally like to just pick and choose. So this is the a la carte menu if you want to just order uh, singular things right here. Yeah. Uh, they vary in price. It's as low as 120 yen all the way up to 240 for specialty things. Uh, there's quite frankly, there's a lot of good stuff here yeah. on the, the normal section, so to speak. Okay, a selection of chicken, other meats, uh, you got some seafood, uh, lots of veggies, even got cheese, straight up cheese. Cheese is good, fried cheese, man. Fried cheese, man, can't go wrong with it. Nah. Another thing we should point out, uh, kushigatsu involves sauce. Yes. A lot of sauce, but here's the thing, there's like a communal dipping uh, pot. Yes. So the bowl of the kushikatsu sauce, dip only once. No double dippers, no, okay? No, they actually, like, they're like, no, do not. There's do a not. whole page dedicated no. to this. No. Don't. You dip once, make sure to get a heavy portion on there and enjoy it as is. Yep. So if you're that one person at the party who double dips your potato chips and cheese and salsa. Don't do it. Don't do it here. You will be, you will be shunned. <laughs> I will wag my finger at you. But I wonder if they saw you do it, they'd be like, uh, don't do that. I would probably point out, don't do that, because that's weird, man. I will say, though, if you need more sauce, they do have little things of cabbage yes. on the side, and you can use that to scoop out more sauce. Onto your little plate. Yeah, you got a little plate for that. Yeah. But it's better just dip a lot first. It's real good. Finally got seated, we got our drinks and food order in. Yeah. We got some uh, chuhai, yuzu and lemon flavor. It's like a, think of it like a mini cocktail kind of thing. Should be pretty good. Cheers. Cheers, my dear. Tastes like Sprite. This is not a good idea. No, no. <laughs> Adults out there, be wary of the chuhai. Just got our first order here at the table. Yeah. We've got a variety of things. So I believe we've got the beef, the classic kushikatsu skewer. Yep. We got the tonkatsu, the pork cutlet. Uh, that one is uh, cheese? No, this yeah. is the chicken meatball. That's that skunet, the chicken meatball. Yep. And that this one, is the cheese. cheese. Sausage, mm -hmm. quail egg, and chicken skin. It was almost like not breaded at all. I know. You just threw it in there. It but like, I guess with right. its skin, it doesn't really need it, right? <laughs> so, Brittany, would you like to start us off? Yeah. Show us how it's done. Pork it is. Oh yeah, Brittany has had her eye on the tonkatsu one for a while. Yeah. It's just like a nice like little size, so remember, dip once. Mm -hmm. Good amount of sauce. And... Oh, hot. Oh, I bet it is. All deep fried. You see a little bit of that steam like coming off of there too. Oh. <laughs> Uh-huh. It's so hot. <laughs> good. Good, I'm glad. Like, I'm just I'm impressed by how much steam you released after that bite. Crazy. Looks real tasty though. This place is like famous for kushikatsu. That was like, good. Basically invented this style of food here in Osaka. <laughs> Very happy with that one? Yep. Nice. I'm up. I've got the classic kushikatsu skewer. It's uh, beef. I'm gonna give myself the one dip. Bam! Oh nice. yeah, I gotta get that sauce. Oh, it's dripping. Oh man. Oh yeah. <laughs> Gonna be hot. Mm. Mm. Is that good? That's a meaty bite right there. Oh nice. You can see real beef inside there. Oh yeah. Very tasty. That's really good. I like the sauce here too. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's a really good sauce. Um, I don't know how to describe it. It's saucier. It's like a sweeter soy sauce in a way. Oh uh, yeah. Kind of like that, right? Not that. as salty. Yeah. I'm sure kushikatsu is probably like the least the, the least healthy of all the street foods around <laughs> in Do Dotonbori, but might be one of the funnest to eat though. Darn tasty. Next up, we've got chicken skin. Just straight up chicken skin. Yeah. Looks pretty tasty. I mean, have you ever had chicken skin before? I mean, on a chicken. Makes sense. Checks out. <laughs> <laughs> You've never had it just by itself? Though. No. Give it a shot, right there. Give it a dip. A little shake. And a little bite. Crunchy. Crunchy. Bet. I mean, mm. it's skin. Pretty good. Something a little different for you, huh? Yeah. It's going down the rows right here, Brittany. Yeah. Digging, we try out the skunet, the chicken meatball. Chicken meatball. 
It looks like a ball for sure. Yep. Let's see. Bam. Dip. Dip, dip, dip. That shake. <laughs> that bite. Mmm. That's a chicken meatball, right? Yum. Look at that steam come off of it. Yeah. Very flavorful, even on its own. I like really? the way it works with the um, with the kushikatsu sauce too. Ah. You should definitely try some Brittany. Brittany's been waiting for this one. Yeah. It's the cheese stick. Go for it, Brittany. Give it that dip. One dip, and then a nice little bite. Mm. Oh, that's that's some cheese, all right. That's some like serious cheese right there, all right. Yeah. Yeah, go for it. So you hated it, right? Absolutely, 100% the worst. It's terrible. Don't get it. If you get it, just give it to me. Don't worry about it. I'll take one for the team. I'll keep that in mind, Brendan. Yeah. Thank you. Appreciate your generosity. <laughs> Way legs. Yeah, who's it about? It's uh, two play legs right here. We're gonna give it a dip. Two little bumpies. They're basically like hard boiled, like mini eggs. Mini eggs. But now that they've been uh, hard boiled and then deep fried. Yep. You can't go wrong with that guy. Tastes good. Ooh. Nice. Hot. 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 <laughs> and last, but certainly not least, the sauce. Oh, there it is. Oh. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Get the little pattern cut into it. Some of the breading seems to have broken off, but that's it's okay. Right. It's fine. All right. Go for it. It's a sausage. It's a hot dog. Japanese hot dog. But it's cute though. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty good. It's too bad about that little bit of breading though that you yeah. fell off, but that's okay. So tasty. It's round two of kushikatsu. Again, guys, these skewers are pretty small, yes. which is nice because then you can choose what you want. I mean, yeah, it's pretty smooth, but it's nice because yeah, you can you can piecemeal your dinner together. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. And you could order it more than once. Oh yeah, and it's only uh, 120 yen per normal stick. Yep. Which is not bad at all, especially in like a very competitive area in like Dotonbori. Yes. <laughs> There's a lot of food stalls. So a lot of these are pretty pretty similar to what we had on the first yeah. order. Okay, so we have one beef. We have two tonkatsu. Mm -hmm. We have a garlic chicken fillet. Nice. Um, a chicken meatball. Oh yeah. And two cheese, because. I like me some cheese. True. And it was good. Can you tell which ones are our favorites based off of the reorders? Pretty few. The only new one is technically the garlic chicken. Do you want to try that one? Oh, sure, I can try it. Give it a shot. Okay. Then we're going to finish our dinner afterwards. So, Brittany, Brittany's got her one dip. Oh, and... I can already see steam, and you see that? Oh, yeah. That's hot. So, aside from your, your mouth getting scorched, how do you feel? Real good? That flavor? You look so serious. Wow. Wow. That is really good. That's yeah, seriously good? That's really, really oh, good. Oh man, we should have got two of that. I know. It's so good. We're gonna film me eating it too, because why not? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's so hot. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let me translate. It's really good, but it's really hot. Mm -hmm. It's really good, but then it's really hot. Mm -hmm. It's really good, and it's really hot. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really good garlicky chicken taste to it. That's so tasty. My tongue. <laughs> but I loved it, right? Oh, it was so good. Honestly. <laughs> Take this chicken meatball back and give me a chicken filet. Right. Oops. No refund. No changes either. <laughs> I'll be honest with you guys, that might be one of the best choices on the menu yes. here. Yes. Yep. Uh, yeah. We really? almost didn't get it either. There's a lot of good stuff. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. You, you pretty much can't go wrong with anything on the menu, but the garlic chicken, that was amazingly good. Uh, I'll be honest, I might actually like that more than the cheese. I don't know. What? It's a tie. It's, it's hard to choose. Brittany. But that chicken is so good. I'll give you time to think about okay, it. Okay, okay. Overall though, uh, Kushikatsu Dadama, pretty awesome. Yeah. Definitely check it out if you are in the Dotonbori area. But there's also, there's a bunch of locations all around Osaka, surrounding areas. Uh, Kushikatsu in general, pretty awesome. Oh, heck yeah. Really great social experience too. Lots of big groups coming out here, just snacking on whatever skewers they like. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.
So we finished up at Kushikatsu Daruma. Yeah. Fantastic it was food. So good. But there is still more to be had here. This area is quite large. There's a lot going on. You see on the back right here, all the shops. So many restaurants, so many stalls, so many things. I don't know what to get next, Brittany. I don't know. Let's keep walking. Yeah. Brittany, what's going on with Spider Man? <laughs> Spot a booty. Why is he here in Japan? He, he's reaching grabbing for some. Uh, well, I was gonna say he's grabbing some Kobe beef, but that it doesn't looks, look like beef. It looks like an oyster, Brittany. Yeah. Interesting. They, they let you make your own takoyaki here? Interesting. I guess. Huh. That's what they call it the takoyaki museum. Who is running loose? <laughs> it's not really <laughs> he's... You keep go, going, Poo. Poo. You keep you keep following that you, dream. You do you, Poo. We are at Kukuru. It's a very famous spot for takoyaki. Octopus balls. Yes. Yeah. I don't know how else to explain it, but it's literally what it is. Yes. Uh, There's like the other little stuff in there too, but yeah, they fry it in like cute little round pans. Uh, we use a similar pan for things like ping pong droppers and stuff. But today it's all about eating, so we're gonna try some out. We finally got an order here at Kukuru. Pretty famous for their takoyaki. Interesting here because uh, they're supposed to have like little octopus bits sticking out of the balls. I can't yeah. say there's a whole lot of that going on on no. these ones, but it does smell good. It does. Yeah, takoyaki is like fried. Uh, yeah, they, they fry them on like funny round pans, yep. and you get a uh, well. There's a octopus bits in there. Yes. Like a little batter, some mayo, some other sauce. Should be pretty good. All right. So let's it's see. It's gonna be pretty hot. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm kind of stalling as long as I can, guys, because <laughs> they literally just took this off the griddle. Yep. And I'm really worried that I'm gonna hurt myself. So let's see. Uh, Actually, not as dangerously hot as I thought it would oh, be. Oh, wow. Maybe it's that specific one. I, I keep, I've dropped it a couple times. I'm sorry, guys. Maybe it was out in the cool air enough. Maybe. It is kind of cold out here in Osaka tonight, but it's pretty tasty, actually. Nice. I'm going to have the whole thing. I don't know how to describe the sauce, but it's kind of sweet. Really? Yeah. Good sized chunks of octopus inside there. Didn't burn my mouth, <laughs> thankfully. Yeah. Oh, pretty good combination of flavor. I can see why the line is extremely long. Yes. Extremely long. Extremely long. It's a pretty long line on a Tuesday night. Ooh. Look how seriously they take their shopping here in Shinsai Bashi. <laughs> you gotta have ladies dancing in the window with the sign. She's doing a pretty good job, Brittany. Yeah, she's doing good. I'm not gonna lie. Now we are in Shinsai Bashi, a big shopping district. It's wow, it's poppin'. a lot of shopping. <laughs> it's late at night, but. How about that? I didn't see so many people going crazy for like fragrances and yeah. souvenirs. But hey, let's go check it out. Yeah. And we got lots and lots of shops around here. A lot of normal shops too. We passed by like Adidas and all those kinds yeah. of things. I kind of liken it to a, a mix kind of like Shinjuku and Shibuya. They're like shopping areas combined. Yeah. Interesting. Oh, I would totally buy those. And they come in a few different colors too. Yeah. Yeah, it's three coins. 300 yen. I think it's supposed to be 300 yen. Well, those, the bigger bags are 500 yen. They've completely ruined the name. <laughs> yeah. It's an iPhone Bone cases. cases. Oh, cute. Nice, nice onsen. onsen. Warm and relaxed. Oh, I wish we'd go to onsen. Oh. Cat sponges. Cat sponges. Cats, man. Oh, I'm tempted. Oh. That's cute. And they have a soft end and a scratchy end. You know how I know we were old, Brittany? Because we're getting excited over kitchen sponges. <laughs> but they're cute! They are, though. Pokemon sponges now, Brittany? Yes, yes. there's two different kinds. And those are only 150, so you have to oh, get both what? of them. Oh, yeah. It's time, Brittany. <sighs> no! <laughs> what are you going to do with that? Exactly that. Exactly that. Are those cats, man? Yeah, they're cats. Cat washcloths. What? Like they even have like, like omo rice and stuff. That's so cute. Mmm. They don't even really need cloths, but <laughs> you ever wonder what a Disney store looks like in Osaka? It looks like this. It's very nice. Very Disney. How cute! <laughs> Look at these guys. You Aww. can dress them up. Man. 
Look at him. So fancy. Man, these are really popular too. Look at this. Yeah. Woo. We need these guys, Brittany. Wait. We definitely need these wait, guys wait, now. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait. the bay though. One. Oh. Oh. <gasps> it's a pointer. Let's go. I'm totally going to get it. The one pointer. I don't know what we would do with it. It's a one. You can even get Disney themed face masks here at the Disney store in yep. Osaka. Cause that's how seriously people take face masks in Japan. When you get sick, you should be wearing a face mask. Yep. Uh, why wear a regular one though when you can have a fancy one, right? <laughs> Hanzo, Mickey Mini. You even have a Mickey tissue box covers. Yep. For all the tissue you'll be using as you sneeze and cough and waste. Oh, how about the little? Oh, the little one. Oh, so small. It's a little together series of uh, flesh here. Oh, how sweet. Mm -hmm. A Lilo and Stitch these. one too. Oh, that one's adorable. Look at some of these, you get so many. Yeah. It's a million plushes in one. They have the Princess Bear. Yeah, they have uh, Disney University guys. You can see over here. It's a fun line of teddy bears that you can dress up in style. But now they have lady bears. Lady bears? It's, it's... I'm, a little, I'm a little kitty bear. Oh, he's just a, He's just a kitty. Oh, so cute. We've got a little bit of a sweet tooth going on, so we stopped by Pablo. It's a very popular cheese tart place. Yeah. yeah. Well, we don't have that much space in our stomachs thanks to everything we had earlier. So we got the Pablo Minis. Yes, they're very, very smooth. Yeah. <laughs> we got a plain one, and they also have a chocolate one, yeah. too. Look how cute that is, guys. Absolutely adorable. The little mini. The it's mini. So I don't even know what to do with it. <laughs> do we eat it or admire it right? from afar? I don't know. Maybe look up close. Man, that looks good. You gonna have a little bit, Brittany? I'll take a bite. Go for it. Pretty good. It's sweet. Oh, sweeter than you were expecting? Yeah. I mean, the breading is sweet. Oh, that's surprising. Yeah, just like a little bit of mm -hmm. that crust. The chocolate is lighter. It's kind of like, like a whipped chocolate taste. Oh, mm -hmm. not bad though. Hey, I mean, Japanese sweets are known for being a little mild compared to their That's American good. counterparts, yeah. but I'm glad you enjoyed it, Brittany. Look at that inside. Ooh, looks good. Yeah, just Eat. like a mild sweet taste. Oh, hey, I'm ha I have a mild sweet tooth right now, so I'll take it. <laughs> well, we've got us one of the traditional foods, one of the most popular foods in Osaka, quite possibly in all of Japan. Konomiyaki, that's right. It's uh, basically referred to as a Japanese pancake. It's got a lot of stuff in there. I don't even know where to begin describing this thing. There's so much in that. Yeah, like you're probably better off just Googling it instead. <laughs> but this particular stand's Okonomiyaki has pork and octopus in it and a lot of other stuff, a lot of veggies and bits like that. I'm the one taste testing it because Brittany's not really a fan of pretty much anything I just listed off right there. Nope. It's okay, it's fine. <laughs> It's like a lot of stuff. It looks cool though. Yeah, it looks awesome. I love the whole, you know, the the moving flakes. That was a big bite. Jeez. Yeah. I was trying to like tear a smaller part, but it's not <laughs> happening here. Pretty good actually. Really? Creamy. Creamy? Mm hmm A lot of sauces and bits in there. Again, guys, there's a lot going on in this thing. The sauce is like kind of sweet. The pork kind of like stops that a little bit. It's not too bad. I do enjoy it. Nice. I've had okonomiyaki before, different places in the States, of course, but it's the first time I've had it in Japan. Most importantly, in Osaka, which is where yeah. it was basically invented. So, let's dig in. Let's go. Well, that's it for our little trip out here to Dotonbori in Osaka, Japan. It was a lot of fun. Try out some different food, but there's a lot more options than we had time or stomach to handle. So yes. hopefully you enjoy your time here. If you ever find yourself in Osaka, there's a ton of food. It's seriously, Osakans love their food. There's so much. It's pretty obvious to us right it's here. Crazy. But we loved it too. Thanks for watching, guys. We are the Pink Couple. Don't forget to like and comment. Let us know what you think of our little food adventure here at the Tonbori Street in uh, Osaka, Japan. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. We got lots of other great videos for you guys. While you're at it, make sure that bell's turned on, that way you get notifications for our channel. Finally, a huge thanks once again to everyone who helped make Japan Trip Part 3 a reality. You guys are incredible. This trip has been absolutely incredible. 
for us and hopefully you thought it was incredible too through our video series. Anyway, see you next time. Bye.